Hello everyone and welcome to the advanced control series. In this video we will be diving into the list box control element in MATCAD Prime. We will focus on the list box control, its functionalities and practical applications to help you leverage this powerful tool in your worksheet. A list box is a control element that allows users to select one item from a list. It's a versatile component that can be used to manage and display dynamic data within your MATCAD Prime worksheet. To use a list box in MATCAD Prime, you'll need to insert it from the controls toolbar. Once inserted, you can configure its properties and define its behavior using JScript or VBScript code. The preferred language is JScript as VBScript is going to depreciate. In MATCAD Prime, advanced control start with one output variable and no input variables by default. This means the control only updates when its own value change and not when other variables do. However, you can add input variables to the control as required. And to add inputs, we need to right click on the control and then select add inputs. A placeholder will appear where you can enter numbers, arrays, strings or expressions. You can also add multiple inputs. To do that, use insert left or insert right from the matrices tables tab or you can simply choose the number of rows and columns from matrix tab wherein to delete a specific input variable within the same tab you need to click on delete row or delete column and to remove all input variables simultaneously right click the control and choose remove inputs Furth further to this you can use math formatting to change the font color and size of the text and even use highlight color let us now look at the default list box script. There are multiple functions in the list box like list box event start, list box event x, list box event stop, list box cell change, and list box double click. They handle various events for the list box. By adding appropriate code to these placeholders, you can make the list box interact dynamically with other parts of the MathCAD Prime worksheet. Responding to user selections and triggering calculations or update as required. Within these functions you can use multiple feature based on its properties, methods and events. All this information is well documented in Help Center. Along with the sample example which you can straight away copy and paste it in your worksheet. In this worksheet, we will be going through a series of list box offering different choices to calculate the pipe diameter and time required to fill a particular volume based on other parameters. Let us now look at how these various properties, methods and events have been utilized in this worksheet. We begin with the simple list box that will control the alignments of list box done in step 1 and 2. In list box 1, we add specific types of crude oil to the list box and set the default selection to the first item. For event handling, we adjust text alignment based on input value and output the selected item on one based index along with its text. This setup ensures the list box is initialized with predefined items, supports dynamic text alignment and provides output based on user selection. Keep in mind the list box that we saw earlier has been utilized as input to this list box and the list box beneath this. The list box code dynamically updates its option based on user input. 
Depending on the selected input value, it then adjusts the menu item shown in the list box and changes text alignment if required. It then resets the list box to display the new options and capture the selected item details. This setup ensures the list box content is always relevant to the user's choices and provides update output information about the selection. The output of the code is set in such a way that it includes a combined string of the input value and the current selection index the number of items in the list box, the text of the currently selected item which we will use in the further calculations. So the first list box allow users to select from different types of crude oil. Based on the selection the second list box updates to display the relevant byproducts. This dynamic linkage continues to, through the third list box which updates flow rate and velocity values aiding in pipe diameter calculation and time estimation. As we change the selection in the second list box, the values of flow rate and velocity will update. Once we choose the values, then we add units to the selected item from the list box. Once that is done, we aim to add a entry dynamically to the list box by using a text box. However, there is a catch. We need to add a space to the text box after the entry is complete so that it can understand the user has completed its entry. Once space is pressed, it would then add the value dynamically to the list box. Meantime, it would also check if the entered value is already present in the predefined list box. If it, if it is already present, it won't allow to add the value until it is different from predefined list. Once we add the desired value to the list, we then move forward using the values we have selected until now and using the flow rate equation let us now calculate the diameter of pipe. We'll keep the fluid density and fluid viscosity constant and then calculate the cross-sectional area of pipe along with Reynolds number. Once Reynolds number is calculated, we will use that to calculate the time required to fill the chosen quantity of volume. Understanding and utilizing these properties, methods and events can significantly enhance the functionality and interactivity of the list box in MathCAD Prime. The formatting properties allow user to control the appearance and sorting of items, while the state property provide information about the current state of the list box. Methods enable dynamic manipulation of the list items and events allow you to respond to user interactions effectively. There are some more examples of the list box integrated with other advanced control that you can modify and utilize in your worksheet. This example features a checkbox that when selected sorts the list box entries in alphabetical order. This integration between checkbox and list box demonstrates how you can simple control to enhance data organization and usability. Another example showcases the selection change event. Here, selecting an option from the list box triggers a pop-up message informing the user of their selection and any changes. This is a great way to provide real-time feedback. In this example, the double click function is utilized. When a user double clicks an entry in the list box, the output changes from a numerical value to a text string. This illustrates how double click event can be used to switch between different data formats. The last one is a series of text box linked to the list box which is further linked to another list box. In here, multiple methods have been utilized to dynamically add, delete or insert the string 
in the list box. Also, it highlights how you can create complex interactions and manage data efficiently. By integrating list box into your MathCAD Prime worksheet, you can enhance data management, streamline user input processes, and create more efficient and user-friendly computational documents. Moreover, these examples demonstrate the versatility and power of the list boxes when combined with other controls in MathCAD Prime 10. Experiment with these integrations to enhance your worksheet and improve user interaction. Thank you for watching this installment of the Advanced Control series. Stay tuned for more tutorials on Advanced Control in MathCAD Prime.